You are in the U.S., you cannot travel back to Kisi as, as much as those ones in Nairobi or somewhere. But with the technology, you can actually talk. The children can wow. talk to you with, with their grandparents. Y use the online uh, facility so that these parents can actually stay longer. And the, those who have not lost their grandparents or their parents may not understand. But I'm telling you, when those parents are there, you are actually adding a lot of value wow. to your children wow. and to everybody. Wow. Thank you. Hello, viewers, and welcome to Lucy Moria mm. Network. This is another beautiful day, my third day in Ikisi County. Today I have the opportunity to meet a retired teacher from Kisi County, Kitutu Church South constituency, Kitutu Church Central Ward, Nyamataro Village. Nikuapa kwa kijiji, meeting with a retired high school principal who has taught in very many schools here in Kisi and beyond. Right now, he is an author of many books in Gusi language. Now I take this opportunity to welcome Mwalim, Retired Stanley Seret Magara. Yeah. Karibu Mwalim. Asante sana. Yes, yeah. Karibu sana. Na asante kwa kuturuhusu kukuja hapa kwa kwa nyumbani, kuona venye unaendelea after retirement. And you look great. The whole your family, your wife and children, tumewaona. Beautiful home. So, can you tell us, tell the viewers, look at the camera, tell them about yourself. Who is Mwalimu Retired Magara? Ni nani? Mwalimu retired Magara, kama mesema ni mwalimu ambaye amefunza katika shule nyingi njini. Naweza sema ya kwamba ni mefunza siaya, ndi anzia huko, nikarudi kisi, tena nikaelekea kakamega, utere girls, Nikarudi tena kisi kawa principal katika shule moja ambayo ni maarufu sana wakati huu e, inaitwa Kerongoro Secondary School maadi ambapo nilifanya kazi kwa ngufu na juhudi zote zangu nika uwezesha hiyo shule sasa hivi mwaka huu katika chuo kikuu au wale ambao wataenda chuo kikuu ni wanafunzi 200. Wow. Kwa hivyo hiyo shule inaendelea vyema vile. Mm -hmm. How was your background as you grew up? Ulisomea kisi, ulisaliwa kisi, ulisoma wapi? Mimi nilisomea shule moja sasa ambayo ni ya upili huko Rio Kindo. Um, Rio Kindo High School. Ndio nilisomea eh, nini so, eh, shule ya msingi ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa Rio Kindo Primary nikatoka huko nikaenda Gekano High School nikamalizia uh, chuo kikuu kwa hivyo um, chuo kikuu cha Nairobi ama cha Kenyatta Kenyatta University uh, okay nikafanya um, masomo yangu pale na nikasomea lugha ya Kiswahili oh. na geografia. Hayo ndio masomo ambayo nilikuwa na, nikifunza katika um, wakati wote ambayo ambao nili, nilikuwa nikifunza. Na nikaendelea mpaka nikastaff baada ya miaka karibu 30 hivi. Like that years ago is when you retired? Yeah. Wow. Zio, zio, 30 years, mm. nilifunza. For that years. Almost 30 years. Yeah. Sasa hivi nimestaabu, uh, nimestaabu, miaka karibu 20 nime, nimepita. Wow. Wow. Kwa hivyo, na sasa hivi, ninaendelea kuwa muandishi wa vitabu katika lugha ya eke gusi. Kitabu cha kwanza kinaitua omu gusi, ambao, ambacho, ni kitabu ambacho kinasunguzia mambo ya omogusi culture ya omogusi 
vipi ni vipi omba uhusiana anakaa yeye ni nani anafanya nini ha? mpaka amefika wakati huu yeye ndiye ametufanya tu, tu, tuishi katika dunia hii ya ya, ya kwa hiyo sasa hivi hicho kitabu cha Omo Usi ndicho cha kwanza cha pili kinaitwa Chigosoli cha leo cha leo ni chileo bono mene what the um, uh, activities or games which were there and which are on uh, continuing wow na hiki kitabu unaandika peke yako ama kuna wanakusaidia tuna wengine tuna wengine tuko uh -huh. tuko wazee saba uh -huh. na kina mama mmoja huyo mama hata uh, anatusaidia sana uh -huh. hata akiwa ni mmoja uh -huh. anasaidia sana na huyo mama ni nani hapo kwa mama ndio nimekwama nataka umekwama huyu mama hapo. anaitwa uh -huh. <laughs> uh, mrs Uh, Mrs. Mrs. hata ninaanza kupotea <laughs> Dorot o Masire. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, na huyu mama mm. tulimtoa Meru. Hala. Yeye ni mkisi sasa. Mama oh. Mumeru kama mimi. Eh kama wewe kama kama wewe ni Mumeru huyu ndiye na tunaishi karibu hapa. Amekuja amekuwa makisi Asiwa kukwama. <laughs> hey, we unasema kukwama. <laughs> Anagoma kisi sasa anaandika yeah, vitabu. Ametupatia ame watoto. Wazuri. Wameenda, wamesoma, wameenda wanaendelea kufanya kazi. Si wow. watu si wao ni wakizi. Yes. Eh? Sasa yes. we unasema amekwama. Amekwama tulimlete. Ulimlete very good. Eh. Na sasa ikakuaji mwalimu. Eh. Ah uh, wewe ni mwalimu umesomea hata lugha ya Kiswahili unasema hiyo ndiyo specialization. Eh, Ikakuaje mbona uliporitaya au kufikiria uandike na Kiswahili ama English ulifikiria lugha ya kikisi? Kiswahili? Ni lugha ya kufunza wengine. Kwa sababu ni nilichukuta nikiwa nayo. Wengine. Eh wengine. Others. Lakini mimi mimi ni kikisi. Yule ambaye anafikiria kikisi. Yes anafikiria mambo ya kikisi. Yes. Ana, anataka ku, 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 kuyatoa yote, yes. kuyaandika yote ili wakisi wasome na wengine. Sasa mwalimu anapenda kisi, analala kisi, Ithio. anakula kikisi, kisi. anapenda mila yake, saa hii anataka watoto wasome mambo ya kikisi. Kabisa. Na nimeona hiyo nimetembea jana katika hii ara yangu ya siku tatu. Watu wote nimeonji wanaongea juu ya kuhimiza ukisi mm. yani ya culture kisi. mambo ya kikisi eh. na kwa nini wakisi wako na huyo uhusiano sana na nimeona hata mahali wanaishi anyway else wako na hiyo uhusiano uhusiano wao unajua mwanzo mwanzo yeah. walipokuwa wakitoka u, pale uh, walitoka uh -huh. walikuwa wanakaa pamoja pamoja hata hapa tunasema ya kwamba tulikuwa tumeanzia mahali pamoja tunaita marani pale huko marani wao wote wanajua marani wapi yes. kwa hivyo si si mbali sana kutoka hapa wote walikuwa wanakaa huko wakakaa wakakaa wakiwa na mira eh, zao walipoona ya kwamba sasa mahali pamekuwa wachache wakaanza tena ku kuhama kuhama kutafuta mahali pa kukaa na kulima na kufuga yes. ngombe yes. mbuzi na kila kitu wow sasa nimeona hapa nyumbani wakati tuliingia tulikaribishwa na mama tujue yeah. wewe ndio utatuambia ni nani mm. najua anaweza kuwa hata ni mgeni hapana alikuamia hapa so siwezi kukaa na mgeni <laughs> <laughs> sasa tuliona tu hapa unaishi na nani tunaona mambo makubwa eh. uko retired how is your life when retired are you alone with your family or what are you with mimi uh -huh. nimeoa mwaka uh -huh. wa 1976 uh -huh. 
mama ambaye ame amezaa wa, watoto mm -hmm. wale ambao wengine wako karibu nasi yes. na wengine wako mbali yes wengine Nairobi wengine wapi Eldoret wengine wapi, wapi, wapi yes huyu mama yeah ndiye huyu yeah yuko wapi ndiye huyu oh ndio huyu ndiye huyu karibu mama tumletea kiti ndiye huyu Asante sana mam yeah. kwa kuwa umeweka mzee vizuri ulikuja ukakwama <laughs> na ukakwama vizuri mzee anasema alikulete alikwama <laughs> alikwama amekuja amekana ame ame anaitwa nani wewe ndio utaniambia eh huyu mm. anaitwa Rose Mogoi Rose yeah. Mogoi mm, na mumeoana kutoka 1976 ya yeah. Karibu sana mama. Asante. Yes. Mm -hmm. Naona mnafurahi sana. Mm -hmm. Wenye nimekuja nimewakuta na mzee. Mm -hmm. So watoto mnaishi na wao ama waliendaje? Mm -hmm. uh, Unakaa na wawili hapa? Mhm. Eh okay. <laughs> to English. Uh, we stay with the actual one. Yes. Around. Yes. Though yeah. uh, that's the, the second born. Yes who was business in town yes with the wife yes and then the eldest the children are always here yes they they as they are here for holiday yes they stay about uh, two kilometers away from it, here good so as we are at home now yes. and they are on leave yes they come and stay here the kids they, yes, wow. they, they, they stay here during the day yeah, yeah and and and, yeah. and actually do their homework yeah uh, we supervise yes as they do their homework and number two, they also love the the small the field here, the so, that, so that they they, they run around. They a run bit. around. Yes, and they, they also actually bond with the the, the 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 other two who are on the compound. Wow. Yes. And also bonding with you as grandparents. And they bonding with us as grandparents. I like that part you mentioned. You supervise even their homework yes. because you are teachers yeah, both. Exactly. So you also feel busy doing something with them. Very busy with them. Wow, that's great. And, and, and when they come and they don't find the, any of us around, they are ready to ask, where is Sokoro? Wow. That's the grandfather. Yeah. Where is Baba? Yeah. The grandmother. Wow. And we feel great. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. So for you, you are not lonely. And no, we are. We have never been. Because we have seen other places mm -hmm. where you go, you find lonely retired people. Mm -hmm. uh, just the other day, a week ago in Thika, mm -hmm. there was an elderly person, 82 year old. I'm sure you read about it. I have it. read about it. They had a beautiful compound, yeah. Kama Iyako, but they were living by themselves yes. until the grandma of 82 died with the dogs, no one, and here she and children, mm -hmm. educated ones, yeah. some of them pilots and mm -hmm. others, mm -hmm. they were sending money. So ma'am, what would you tell other people of your age, the retired ones, or maybe you talk to the children, the, that relationship, that being together, it's very important, it's not just about sending you money. So when you see your grad kids, you are boarding with them, like you are saying, what you do tell others you would like them to do? Uh, this is my... From your beautiful boarding with your children and grandchildren. This is my advice to the, the children. You know, it's not the, the parents as such, it's yeah. the children. Yes. Always remember yeah. that actually your parents need love. Yeah. They would like to bond with your children. Yeah. So that when these children grow older and they are independent, they can actually have their way and just go and see these uh, grandparents. They will get their blessings from them. And not only that, the grandparents love their grandchildren wow. greatly. Wow. Be because you, you see, if, if, uh, the way when we grew up, you could joke with our grandparents, could tell them anything and then actually play with them. And that's actually uh, a means of making both the children, the grandchildren uh, happy and the grandparents happy. Wow. Yes. So that board of grandparents and grandchildren, 
it's something which is great and should happen. It should happen. But now you see like today the way things have changed. There are so many even now Kisi community, you know, living even in the US. I, I don't know what would you advise them now that they are very, very far away. And you're saying there's a boarding of grandchildren and grandparents because grandparents love their they love their grandkids. What would you advise them? Now, one thing which I know which is difficult because as, as we are talking, yes. We have a son who is doing studies in, uh, in Eldoret. Yes. He's, a, he's married, his children are there. Yes. And we have a daughter who is in Nairobi. Yes. The thing is, uh, they, they can't be here as the, these others yes. do. Yes. But when they have time, yes. if it were possible, yes. I, I, because I remember what I used to do. Yes. Can you spare just two, three days yes. for the children to be with you? The grandparents. The grandparents. Yeah. You can send them. Yeah. Because uh, I remember oh. that at times uh, I used to go with the children home to see my parents-in-law. Yeah. And stay there for a week. But yeah. when I was not able, we were even able to, to take the children there. They stay with the grandparents. And then we go after a week to collect them. Wow. Yes. That's the way we took our, uh, care of our uh, parents. Viewers, you hear? The bonding between parents and gra grandparents and grandchildren is great. Grandparents love their grandchildren and they would like to board with them. You might not know, you might be busy. Mom here says you can even send your children at least to spend some time, play and have fun with their grandparents for them to board because time will come when maybe those grandparents will not be even be there, or maybe you will not even be there, but your grand grandchildren will have no board, and that will help. It makes them happy, it makes their life longer, it, it makes them that depression out of cropping. So I think now I this... You are not closing up. No, and I love you. Um, now I have a question. Yes. Uh, as we are living yes. in this life, Mm -hmm. I'll, uh, I would like to send a message to the government. Now, we are comfortable, okay? But there are some areas. Kunda Visemu Visemu did Ambadia in Natsumba Sumba Kido. If you Visemu Nikisema, I'm a Nikiansa Kugu. Kutoa hadithi kidogo, tulipokuwa tunafunza, hatukuwa na magonjwa sana. Kwa sababu tulikuwa hatujaseka. Na afya. Lakini sasa hivi, magonjwa unayasikia kichwa, unasikia tumbo, Mahoji. unasikia <laughs> mwongo, unasikia miguu. Ayo yote sasa, unayasikia na unataka kusaidike. Kusaidika vipi? Midawa, na mambo mingine yale ambayo yanaweza kufanya hili uendere kuhishi vizuri. Ile, ile nishua na nizutulikuwa na ayo, hatuna. Ya walimu? Hatuna. Tulipo kuwa tukivuza, tulikuwa na nishua na nizutulikuwa, kiuwa mwonjwa, unaendo, unatibiwa, unaendo ya nakazi. Lakini sasa hili, inakuwa vivumu. Ha? Hata hii ya um, NHIF, NHIF tuna, tuna struggle, ni, yani ni, ku, ni kutafuta vile eh, unaweza una, una hili upate NHIF. Maoni yangu ni kuamba serekari ikitusaidia iki kwa hii insurance, tupate ku, kupati wa hii insurance. Maisha ya taanza kuwa mwe kama tulipokuwa. Uo. Ndiyo mwito wangu. Kwa raisi. Uo ndiyo mwito wangu. Sichui mama anaweza kuongeza. Mama ukona mwito gani kwa serikale yako ku. Waongelesha angalia kamera. Waambie ungetaka nini kama mama mustahafu. Kama mkongwe. Sahi. This is what I would uh, like to request the government. We, we are retired teachers, and as we are retired teachers, 
we are in that bracket of 1997 increment. We left you and you and the, 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 the service when our all our increments were not had not been paid. Had just been paid one increment. And then number two, we were told that uh, 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 those of us who retired after 2003 will be actually considered with the 2008. But that has not been done. And we are wondering what is going to happen. And uh, may I put it this way? Those who retired in 1997, those who have been paid, were paid all the increment. They are earning more than those of us who retired later. I'm talking of the, according to the job groups. They are, they are, their pension is higher than those in the bracket of 2003-2007. These ones are in between and if the government checked they will find that actually these people are nowhere. They cannot be accounted amongst the first ones to retire, nor the latter ones to retire. And it, 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 it actually so frustrates and we wonder uh, why we are being left out and yet we served this country very, very dedicated, uh, uh, with I, a lot I, of dedication. I can add on that when the, the, the payments were, or when the, the first group which is being paid right now, when they went through and the government started paying them, they said that they would pay from 98 up to 2003. So those ones who, who of us who retired later, 2004, 5, 6, 7, they are nowhere. We have not been paid anything and we, we don't see it coming. So this is our appeal. If the government can push it such that we also get into streamlining or being paid, we will be very happy. Viewers, these are our great teachers. Teachers taught politicians, they taught doctors, they taught who is who in this country. They took their time, they bought their midnight oil to work for us, and today here they are. They are saying only two things. They need NHIF because at that angel bracket is when many, many diseases crop. So as a country, let us think about our elderly. Those who are teachers, they're asking for their dues. They retired. They have not been paid. Please, they need their payment. That is a cry of our retired teachers. Thank you. Malim. Now, me andika iki kitabu. I know and vitabu si moja. Kitabu. Nikiongea kiswahili ambacho si kama kile ulifundisha. Kitukuso lakini. Lakini wewe ukisi ukipata ya kwamba wewe uweze kujeleza vizuri, go to English. Ni sawa. Let me go to English. So what I'm saying, there are so many abagusi because the book is targeting the abagusi communities. Na kunao you are talking about, I hope Utandika ile ina, inaongea mama, should add a chapter about that chapter on the relationship between grandparents and grandchildren. Mm. The next book, if you have not, we get hapo. If you are writing this book, how if you, those people who are outside in the country, they are in the order, they are in Nairobi, they are in Meru, and they want to reach you to get this book, how can they get it currently? Currently, we have... Um, or how can they reach you? Uh, we, we, we have a store in Kisi town, uh, wherever is near, or wherever it will be uh, in Kisi town can get these books. And uh, that uh, um, store, you can reach by using uh, my uh, telephone number. Same my number. 0718-309-393. I can repeat again. 0718-309-393. Thank you, you very much. You've had you the number. That. This is the book, Promote Obagusi Culture, through our retired teachers. 
We are very proud of you. The other teachers out there who have they just retired. They say they are, you know, retiring is not getting tired. No, You're no. doing a lot. What no. you do, advise them. Now, I, for me, I, I like it. All teachers, all, all those who are retired, to get something to do. Get something to do. The one you are comfortable doing, anything that you are comfortable doing, if it is swimming, if you get there. If, if it is uh, uh, herbal medicine, you get there. You, you know, there are very many fields. Very many. Do something. Do something. Do something. Yes. Do something. Get that is there. the message. Get yourself occupied such that in a day, you can do something and then go to sleep. Do something. Yeah. Let us say it. Do something. Do something. <laughs> get yourself occupied. Yes, do get something. Occupied. So, and uh, for the Abakuzis who are outside the country, like I'm brought a lot of them, you need your grandparents to connect with their grandchildren. Get this book. What I would advise you, Mualim, yeah. you can have this book online. Yeah. Online they can read, they can buy from there, they can support. At least the teachers are doing something. Do something. Thank I think that much. is a Thank very you. good idea. I'll get it there. Get advice and get something get the out book. of it. Yes. Yes. So thank, thank you very much. You've come to the end. But don't forget, if you are retired out there, yeah, do, do something. Yes, 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 do something. something. Mm -hmm. Thank you. No, at the one point which I'd wanted, but we are finished. <laughs> Sema. I no, what I wanted to say mm -hmm. is this. Uh, sorry for taking okay. Madame don't back. Worry. Don't worry. The, the, the thing is that uh, people are a farm. There's a lot of technology around us. You are in the U.S., you can't travel to Kisi. Okay. You are in the U.S., you cannot travel back to Kisi as, as much as those ones in Nairobi or somewhere. But with the technology, you can actually talk. The children can talk wow. with, with their grandparents. Y use the online uh, facility so that these parents can actually stay longer and the, those who have not lost their grandparents or their parents may not understand. But I'm telling you, when those parents are there, you are actually adding a lot of value wow. to your children wow. and to everybody. Thank wow. you. Thank you so much, Mom. That is a great point. Yes. And uh, the young people in the U.S., in other countries, Australia, our grandparents, our retired teachers are saying, they you know technology more than they do, but they are saying they also know. So you can involve your children and yourself, even on daily basis. Go do video calling and talk to your parents. Return people, do something. Do something. That is the message. Thank you very much.